Rebecca Stegman from the Belmont Abbey Crusaders really uh, school newspaper, and, and I, I did an interview with Dr. Lewis about, about, about the Latin Mass Society interest meeting that he just attended tonight. Thank you. 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 Thank I had been approached in times past by uh, people uh, interested in a, in a society that stressed church tradition and wanted to examine it, but they all graduated, so uh, it comes at a good time to, uh, to have this new start and uh, do what he did this new club um, Why did I agree to it when he, uh, when he approached me? I think um, because I uh, attended the, the extraordinary form of the Mass a good bit. Um, and I think it's, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, I also agree with the hope that uh, the extraordinary form and the ordinary form need to have a dialogue and, and to enrich one another. And that the way forward for all liturgy in the church is uh, that organic way that he talks about. And uh, certainly it wouldn't be organic if you just excluded the extraordinary form the ordinary form is it. Or vice versa. So the extraordinary form is the right one and the ordinary form is right out. That wouldn't be a dialogue either. It wouldn't be uh, productive. The other, the other echelon that interests me a lot is all the things that surround liturgy, ceremonial, vestments, music, all of that sort of stuff, which is um, bound to be enriched by bringing back um, older forms that people have forgotten, older even things like older vestments and older ceremonial, none of which has ever been abrogated. Um, and, uh, you know, if that, if that uh, finds its way into all kinds of masses, extraordinary or ordinary form, all to the good. Uh, I especially uh, have a concern about music. I think that, or again, not only was uh, Gregorian chant never abrogated in the church, it was actively encouraged through the council and by Paul VI. And uh, people are rediscovering that uh, greatly now because um, if the ceremonial of the ordinary form has been done badly at different points in time, the music has been done worse. And, and so the, the new musical impetus uh, to, to reinvigorate the church's traditional forms of music interests me a lot. I hope this society can contribute to that. Um, do you think the meeting was relatively successful? For it was an excellent startup? first meeting, yes. And everybody, um, I think, is right on board with um, the open and uh, uh, humble and uh, intellectual kind of uh, system that we're trying to create here, and I hope that all kinds of Catholics and all kinds of students here at the Abbey will, will come in and, and learn and grow and participate and suggest and do all the things that certainly able to do given the structure of this club being so open. Absolutely. Absolutely. Somebody who uh, was just interested generally in the tradition of the church and didn't feel like they wanted to plow into RCIA immediately would do well to join this club and say, well, let's see what's going on here. That's interesting. And I'll compare this and contrast it with what I hear from other Catholics or what I experience at Mass and the like. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah.